I purchased something to upgrade, quote unquote, my Trek DS1, my Trek Dual Sport 1. This bike has a beautiful finish on it. It is this graphite charcoal finish that you just don't want to scratch. It looks so good. I almost hate buying a bike that has such a nice finish on it because you worry about beating it up. But from the factory, they actually make these little stickers. Now mine, they didn't put it on at the bike shop. And when I went back, they gave me these and they're actually really thick. They peel off and it tells you on the thing here to put them paint guards put on the frame where cables contact the frame so i did so and they lined up perfectly well forward to yesterday and i was in the bike shop and i picked up some upgrades i'll get to those in another video but basically lowered some things and that shifted my cables down now the cable on the other side actually goes up higher these line up so it actually is protected by the little sticker that I put on the frame that again the bike shop gave me uh, this comes with quite a few bottle cage stickers and things like that but uh, I also at the same time had them order these it's a good thing now because I didn't know I was going to do these upgrades but I picked up this this is a Jaguar 5G tube top frame protectors and these are made specifically blemish protection for your frame and they're just some little rubbery grommets that go on your tubes and keep them from marring your frame so i'm going to open these up take a look at them and then see about putting them on and hopefully guess the right size all right here are the frame protectors and you can see oops there goes one you can see they have a little jaguar logo on them just a j and they have this dual split design they're split on both ends so that you can just kind of I apologize for lighting, but kind of twist and flex and get them on your cables without having to take the cable off. Because some of these protectors require you to take the cable off of the bicycle, at least where it's mounted at, and slide these on the end. But these, you can just kind of slide on. So let me get repositioned, and let's see if I can get these on. I hope you can see this, because I cannot see the screen. But we're going to start with this. This is that cable that lowered on me. So I have my Jaguar again, I hope you can see that. And it has these splits, so I'm just gonna try to get this on and hopefully the bike shop guessed the right size. It looks like they did. Okay, that's the front, there's the back. It has a solid side here on the back. So I'm gonna put that towards the frame. And there it is, and that should yeah, look at that. When it moves, it doesn't bump anything. Now, I have the sticker on the other side, so I don't think I'm going to put one on the other side. I'm only going to put it here. For now, I could technically put one here. It contacts the fort, but I just don't think that's going to get much, much rubbing there. I mean, that's pretty far over for it to rub. So I don't think I'm going to put one there. I think for now, this one will do. But again, this is the Jaguar 5G tube top protectors. And there they are. I actually have another one down here on the ground. There's the three and there's the one installed. And again, I hope you can see that lighting wise. But just makes an easy, very soft protector for your frame to keep these beautiful Trek finishes from getting marred up. That's what the trail's for, right? Not the cables. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I figured I have four. I may as well use two of the four. So I went ahead and I put one on the other side. So you can see how much lower cable sits on the, well, if you're sitting on it, the left side of the bicycle where those stickers used to line up to protect both sides. But hey, now I have two on there. So I shouldn't have any rubbing at all on my headset tube.